This is hands down my favorite lunch. I mean, how could you not be nourished from this huge bowl? <laughs> yeah, I mean, how could you not, right? <laughs> Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna react again to Hitomi, Hitomi Mochizuki with her video What I Eat in a Day to Feel Fully Nourished, Delicious and vegan. We all know it is impossible to be fully nourished on a vegan diet because a vegan diet is deficient in plenty of fat, soluble vitamins and many other amino acids as well. Therefore, it is sad to see that Hitomi is still under the vegan spell and is still torturing herself. A young girl in her prime simply malnourishing herself and telling herself that a vegan diet is healthy. Let's have a look. Why? Why, people? Why did it become the norm to show yourself in underwear for everybody to see? A little bit more self-respect, please. More dignity. Hello. Okay. Looks very nutritious. Such a chill morning. <laughs> it's a Sunday. Okay, so she got out of bed, took her camera, put her in the bed, got back into bed, covered herself, and acts as if she's waking up. Cool. Which really excites me because I don't have any plans today. I literally just want to spend the day reading, going for a walk or three, catching up on text messages, have a little reset day, if you will. I might fuck around and fall in love. I might fuck around and feel in love. I guess I'm just too old. For breakfast, I'm starting out with one of my favorite fall fruits in upstate <sighs> New York, apples. Three apples. Juice. Um, a small lemon for a little bit of tanginess. I tossed this all together and then cut out a puff pastry sauce in the middle with the slices <sighs> on top and then added a mixture of maple syrup and nut milk to the apple. Okay, cute music, very nostalgic, beautiful, but the point of the story is that this won't nourish you. This is junk food. Quite simple. You have puff pastry, super unhealthy, a bunch of gluten in there, and you have more sugar in the middle, aka the apple. We all know that apples nowadays are bred to contain more sugar. You would never find such an apple in a natural environment. Wild apples are usually this small and very, very sour, actually not enjoyable at all. So you simply consume carbs for breakfast. You have zero protein. And after I was done assembling, I placed them in the oven at 350 degrees for about- At 350 degrees, actually at 100 degrees already, you would destroy all the vitamin C that is in the apples. Therefore, you're left just with sugar. 12 minutes. I recommend keeping an eye on them because puff pastry cooks really fast. Okay. Mmm. That is so good. I'm just, let me just share an anecdote with you really quickly. And as you can see here, her skin is getting worse every video. That comes through excessive sugar and hormonal disruption, of course. I would stop by this orchard, usually after every game with my dad called Salinger's Orchard in Brewster, New York. Ah, I'm just tapping into that timeline really quick because that was always my favorite thing after the Cute. games and this tastes but not so nutritious. yummy this is just warm and flaky and it's like an unbeatable experience <laughs> unbeatable i'm sure mm. <sighs> i'm really astonished that people feel no shame at all i mean look at this she shows her cleavage here she shows her butt why I guess for clicks, but is it worth it? To sell your soul for clicks? <sighs> More nourishing food. Fantastic. What is that? Burnt tempeh? 
This is hands down my favorite lunch. I mean, how could you not be nourished from this huge bowl? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, how could you not, right? <laughs> yeah, well, all you have here is a bit of plant oils in the avocado. The tempeh gives you some fermented soy protein, which granted is a little bit better than tofu, but still not optimal. It has no fat soluble vitamins. Yet again, you have no vitamin A, vitamin D3. You don't even have vitamin K2 in this or any creatine, cholesterol, or any really bioavailable protein. Greens, it's really good to eat a diversity of vegetables. It helps to diversify your gut microbiome and also to eat colorful. The vegans are obsessed with their gut microbiome because they're farting all day and they're running to the toilet. That's pretty much it. Your digestion is a mess and that is not due to you. Don't feel ashamed. It is normal because you are a human being and a human being like yourself, he told me, is not made to consume a bunch of plants on a daily basis. Not this much. Like this, you will destroy your gut. That's it. So we got some kale in here. Kale is super toxic. Not even sheep would eat it. Bobby is repeating himself. I love broccolini so much. This I just cook with lemon, liquid aminos, garlic, and onion powder. That's how much you love it. You have to pour all kinds of things on it. This is how amazing it tastes. Man, don't you get it? If you would eat some sashimi, just salmon, just tuna, shark, you wouldn't need any condiments because it tastes amazing. Your body recognizes it. And it is so well balanced. Like that is my favorite way to cook and saute vegetables. She's just lying to herself. I also love sauteing kale with that little combo. Wow. I roasted some tempeh just with coconut minos. I like it kind of crispy and the coconut minos really do a lot. Mm. I have some cabbage and beet little kraut here, cucumber, avo, and of course my kaboka squash. She could be so pretty if she would start introducing some eggs, some fish. It's one of my favorite fall vegetables. Um, Kaboka squash, I feel like my ancestors ate this a lot. I love the flavor. <laughs> yes, that's what your ancestors ate a lot. <laughs> so well. It's not raw it's fish. It's one of my favorite. No. I think I like it more than potatoes, which is saying a lot for me. But yeah, this is my lunch and I'm so excited. And then... For the all-important sauce, this is tahini, apple cider vinegar, liquid aminos, and uh, just a bunch of omega sixes, ALA, you disgusting gunk. Also put gunk. a little bit of garlic powder in here as well. I really love a good, well-combined salad. I also love a good balance of every meal having a good amount of healthy fats, a good amount of protein. But you don't have a good amount of protein and you don't have an amount of good healthy fats. You're simply lying to yourself and to your audience. You're under the spell. Some you really vitamins are. vitamins from the it's greens, sad, actually. a little bit of probiotics. And again, little side note, this video is not against you. I'm never making videos against somebody. I'm not a bully, even though I look like that. I know, beard and bold. Bad, bad bully, Bobby. I'm just here to help. From something fermented that feels really balanced to me as well as having cooling. It feels really balanced to you because you're completely detached of your human nature. Try some sushi and see how you feel then. And warming food. And my body has been responding to it so so well mm, my body has yeah, just been like just really happy like so happy right now and i'm really grateful <laughs> mm. and for me eating stuff like this really helps as well yeah. as eating some carbs every single day like some really good <laughs> as well some carbs <laughs> or bread as if that is not what they eat all day because it's actually not the best just to eat greens all day mm. long i mean with my digestion no we need something dense to hold it all together so um yeah. Exactly, there you go. So she just admitted that her digestion is an absolute mess. Therefore, she eats bread because bread is binding. It covers for your bad digestion. That's all. Potatoes are definitely that wow. for me. But I usually have one big bowl filled with veggies every single day and then one meal that has more carbs in it. And that really, really works for me. But everyone's body is unique, so keep on listening to your internal landscape and try not to get used to a body that's tired, <laughs> lethargic, your internal out, landscape, or having brain fog. You know, these are all, I feel like, our body trying to communicate something to us. Sometimes I like to ask myself, what areas of my life have I adapted to that actually aren't good for me, that aren't serving me, that maybe. How about veganism? Yeah. Just, got just an idea with existing in you know what paradigms or ways of being 
are actually toxic to me but they just haven't like gotten to that point how about those plants especially the kale which is literally toxic point yet for dinner i made another staple go-to wow. recipe it's a mix of quinoa corn black beans kaboka squash garlic onion powder and chili spices all mixed together you can even add curry spices and you don't have to use squash for this you can use sweet potato look at this you're gonna eat all of this this is a lectin bowl beans have the highest content of anti-nutrients they will tell you the anti-nutrient content goes down when you cook them yeah well the nutrition content goes down as well when you cook them what bro what are you talking about man the micronutrients are being killed off you're simply eating carbs and fiber yet again this is pig food not an insult this is really pig food i'm from the balkans this is what we feed to pigs if you eat this you will destroy your butt and mix that all together i also added in some oats to kind of bit. stick everything together and i just formed some veggie burgers <laughs> this is such easy meal prep to have in Super your freezer easy. i'm currently <laughs> sauteing some onions uh, watching those videos, I always get the urge just to take them by the hand and cook a steak for them. I have a potato bun. So sad, and really. And I also made some steak fries. I think that's what these kinds of fries are called. And I just wanted yeah, to have because a you eat them with a steak. Nice mm. dinner. I wanted to have a nice meal. I heated up one of the veggie burgers. And I, I feel like when I cook for myself, I'm just making love to myself in a different way. <laughs> Oh, wow. And showing myself so much respect and sweetness. But I'm also... What are you talking about? Honestly, <laughs> how are you showing love and sweetness to yourself? You seem very alone, by the way. Wouldn't it be much more loving to give your body all the nutrients it needs? Look it up. It is very, very simple to find out. Simply look up which nutrients you're lacking on a vegan diet. Please, don't get duped into the propaganda when they tell you Plants have vitamin A. They don't have vitamin A, they have beta carotene. Beta carotene needs to be converted in your body. It doesn't always work. Omega-3 doesn't work either in all people. ALA has to be converted into DHA, EPA, etc. B12, non-existent. Creatine, non-existent. Cholesterol, bad, bad cholesterol, non-existent. Simply look into it. If you love yourself, you would eat meat. I'm gonna bring one of these to my friend just because feeding other people that I love makes me literally so happy. Yes, this is human nature and I feel the same way about you. I want to feed you. A delicious potato bun and some wedge fries. This is such a good dinner. I wanna see if Great. This I cooked this burger in the oven for, I think, about 25 minutes at 3.50. Wow. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I just um, monitor the way it looks, and when it starts to get a little bit brown on either side, I take it out. But I do want to manage your expectations. Uh, as I said, those plants don't have any fat, first and foremost. So therefore, they don't have any fat-soluble vitamins. Most plants just come with a little bit of vitamin C and a bunch of other nutrients that are then destroyed within the cooking process because in order to make those plants somewhat enjoyable you need to grind them up you need to process them you need to super overheat them until you can eat them if you have a regular burger patty you can simply flip it from side to side one to two minutes each is usually enough leave the middle nice and raw and keep all the b vitamins preserved you don't even have those b vitamins in your plants and you cook them down to a goo where nothing is left this is not nourishing this isn't obviously no. going to be a super meaty no. burger that's easily held together like it's <clears> kind of mushy i personally like that i like a burger that will mush into the bun a little bit and that's what this is and it does have a really good texture you want a regular burger sure and just feel like it just tastes really good especially with um those seasonings in it i think it tastes great with guac and the delusion is so huge man you woke up with apfelstrudel and now you're eating a burger. How is that healthy? So great. Fantastic. One of my favorites. Get some tea. And Why an underwear some again? Carrots, which is really 
really random. I try to eat a few carrots a day for those vitamins. Yet again, you've been told that the carrots have vitamin A. They don't. They only have beta carotene. How much do you absorb? He told it's me. Very full, but he told I'm me. Really craving Leah's here and we are eating none other than a macro bowl. And this one has buffalo, tempeh, and um, just roasted sweet potato and broccoli. So you can literally put anything in your macro bowls. But yeah, you can put literally anything into it. And this is what you did. You literally put in anything and this is what you get out of it. Nothing. The only protein that you consumed until now is a little bit of soy protein, a little bit of bean protein. The whole day maybe has 30 grams of protein. How do you want to sustain your hair, your skin? Your youth won't last forever. You will destroy your body. But the key thing is that you need a good ass sauce. Mm. Hell yeah. yeah, that's so the key thing because your food tastes absolutely repulsive and disgusting. A good steak, a good sashimi, a good tartar doesn't need anything. That's what we got going on. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> it looks so good. Let's do it. Mm. Eat. Thank you so much mm, for this delicious you. meal and welcoming me into your home. <laughs> I hope this food blesses our tummies. <laughs> food digests effortlessly. It's very interesting to see this whole new agey yoga thing that people keep up nowadays. They want to practice gratitude. They want to be thankful because that is healthy for their self-improvement. It's all about I, 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 me, 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 super ego driven. It all seems quite nice. We're just vegans, but you're simply feeding your ego. You need a husband and you need meat. It is very, very simple. Aside from that, praise and thanks can only be given to God. You can try to replicate it because it is your human nature. It is written in your heart. We all have it. We have the urge to worship God. You don't do that, so you worship your Buddha bowl and your friends. Bring more love into the world. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh God, no, I so <laughs> what? No, I what? literally made myself a kale salad the other day and it was so sad. <laughs> I just like massaged avocado into it and like it just didn't have any flavor. It I, is like, always oh. terrible. You have to mask the real flavor of your plants with sauces. Vegans will say, yeah, well, the sauces are made out of plants as well. It's ridiculous. Those sauces are made from ground up seeds, vegetable oil oils that oily consistency tries to replicate animal foods this is why it seems tasty however it doesn't deliver any nutrition i can't eat salad it's just not for me it's all about the sauce yeah <laughs> more of this it's always super narcissistic self-obsessed portrayal it has nothing to do with true humility or true self-love those women have no love at all they're empty. This is why they do this. Beyond just food and to the conversations we're having, the people we surround ourselves with, the music and media we're consuming. And I don't sully any bit of my desire to rest in the stillness, no matter where I am or who I'm with. I always try to anchor in What's high quality happening? nourishment in all forms. And it's so sweet to practice with friends. So here's high a High quality bit of my nourishment in all forms. You ate a bunch of plants. That is the lowest form of nutrition. Now you're reading some new age mumbo jumbo with your friend in underwear. Oof, this cracks. Uh. Mm. <laughs> oh. so Why? Absolutely this beautiful. This is my man repellent right here. Oh my god. Like yeah, really it works. Okay, this is what happens if you don't have God in your life. Right guys, and this is it, long enough as it is. I think I gave sufficient commentary. I'm gonna cut it off here. If you enjoyed this video, 
I'm always surprised how I make it through them. But well, if you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, may God bless you all, guys. Much love and peace.